Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you? I hope you are doing well and that you are safe. Today is another installment of Weekly Product Pan and I am wearing what I pulled last week and wow. <laughs> They don't really go together, but that's okay. I just wanted to play with them, and so I I have them on. Weekly Product Pan was created by Becky over at Becky Loves Kanga. I have Becky's link down below if you would like to check her out. Weekly Product Pan is where you randomly select an item and work on it throughout the week. A lot of people do weekly product pan or a variation of weekly product pan, which is what I do. Some people do shop my stash. It all is along the same vein in that we're just putting our hands on items within our collection and working on them to, you know, rediscover old loves, to find items that we've never used before but have been sitting in our collection or find items that have gone bad and need to be decluttered or items that we've fallen out of love with. So it's a great way to, you know, to play with your collection. And why I like Weekly Product Pan is because it's a random pick. And that's what I love about it. So last week I drew two items, both very shimmery. The first one was this BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes Cool Eyes To Go. I drew the silver shade. It is what it is on my lid today. I did put this in the corner to warm it up just a little bit. And then I put, oh, I put my, I tried to put um, the other product that I pulled last week. Let me open it for you. I have to get my brush. Handy dandy tool. I tried to put this highlighter here. It's called Coral Crystal. It's from Becca's Ocean Jewel face palette. I tried to put it in my inner corner, but it wasn't showing up for some reason. It is pretty pretty light so that could be why like here I'll swatch it for you I mean it's very light so I took champagne pop and put it on my inner corner and up onto my lid just to break up that that icy silver in the corner so I've really enjoyed especially the coral coral crystal why can I not say that I really enjoyed this a whole lot. I do have it on my cheeks. I mean, it is an absolutely beautiful highlighter. However, I only used this today. I just, I found it difficult to try to figure out a way to incorporate it into different looks. And so that only got used today which is unfortunate because I used to really love that um, palette, but maybe my tastes have changed. I don't know. So let's draw for next week's. It is in my randomizer, even though it doesn't look like it. Okay, we have, oh, <laughs> a very, very, very light lip. And then, we have an eyeshadow. Let me go grab those and I will be right back. Okay, so I have the two items. The first item I pulled was this Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Champagne on Ice. It is a brown nude, but it is so light. Look at that. It has a shimmer with it, so... Yeah, it, it doesn't show up much on my lips other than kind of like this icy shimmer. So I may have to pair it with something else. But I love Revlon's Super Lustrous formula. It's definitely my favorite drugstore lipstick. 
so I will enjoy it. It's just not my favorite shade, but it came in a pack with um, some others. I bought like a five pack or a three pack, and that was one of them. That's why I have it. And the other item I pulled was this BH Cosmetics Summer Lovin' palette. I love these mini palettes where they have mini pans. I, I really enjoy them because I don't, I have a lot of eyeshadow. I don't need large pans of eyeshadow. This is perfect for me. So I drew this shade right here, which is number 13. They don't have names, but it's number 13. And it looks like a brown mat is what it looks like. So, okay, kind of a milk chocolatey brown. So those two will go well together. That's good. That's good. And I'm excited to have pulled this. I purchased this. They had a big sale and this was on clearance and well, it was priced really low clearance price level prices. So, but I haven't played with it yet. So I'm really excited. I may have to play with the palette itself to see what I think of it, but I know I love these palettes. My favorite is Afternoon Rendezvous, and when I saw it at TJ Maxx, obviously a while ago since I don't live near a TJ Maxx anymore, I, who was I with? Either Jordan or my friend Leah or Lara, one of them, and I told him, oh, you should get that. That is a great palette. <laughs> they didn't pick it up, but they should have. They they had a missed opportunity there. So that is it, guys. A very fast weekly product pan. I'm excited for these products for this week. And I enjoyed last week's. I'm just, I think my tastes have changed from an icy, silvery, gray look. I think my tastes have changed a little, but I still think it, it's really pretty. So that's it, guys. Please take good care of yourself. Be safe. Be smart, please. And I will talk to you soon.